hello friends welcome back to my channel today we are going to see another tutorial on docker so in this tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to set up a customized docker image to publish your website using alpine image so you know alpine is a very basic uh, image so we will see how we can go through the step-by-step -step instruction to create our simple index.html page and what are the configuration files you need to add to your docker file so we'll also uh, go through the instruction how to write a simple docker file then build your docker image and run your docker container using the docker customized image so let's get started so if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe like the video share and comment to start you know i have a docker machine so if you don't know how to set up docker please check my previous tutorials how to install docker on CentOS or ubuntu or uh, even windows so you can set up your docker as per your requirement so to just show you i have a docker install so it's a docker version 19.0.3.11 okay so the basic step now what we have to do is we have to create a docker file so I'm going to use an Alpine image. So let me go to the Docker Hub first. So if you go to hub.docker.com and you can check for Alpine, so you should be able to see the official image of Alpine. Okay, so you can go through the image details, like what are the versions available and uh, you know the instruction, how to use the Alpine image. So we will uh, go through our own uh, instruction, how to do it. So let me go back to the docker machine so i'm going to start first with, by creating a folder okay so i'm going to create a folder called uh, web and i'm going to go inside the folder because i can keep all the files inside it now i'm going to create another two folders one for an html okay and another one for uh, config so there is going to be two folders now one for html and one for uh, configuration files so let me go back to html and uh, there is no file so let me create first one a uh, file called index.html okay. so in your case you can use your own web page where you have developed uh, you know, a huge uh, web page with a lot of uh, views and the css file so all those things you can copy into this uh, location okay. okay i'm just going to simply write uh, nothing big i'm just going to give one uh, HTML uh, head tag and also one body tag. Okay. okay, so it's going to be HTML. We need to close the tag. Okay, you can use any uh, code editors in your uh, browser uh, in your machine. Then you can copy that into the uh, machine as well, Docker machine. But it is, since it's a very simple HTML, I'm just writing it here itself. It's going to be head tag. Okay, inside the head tag, I'm going to give an H1. And let me write uh, this is uh, Alpine image Docker container running from okay so just a head tag so I'm going to give a h1 head okay. I'm not going to give any title if you want you can give some title as well so I'm just going to give some body tag now And I'm going to give some H2 tag here. Okay. Here I'm just giving some content, that's all. Okay, so it can be any content okay so that's all uh, we need we need uh, 
is a head header then a body okay and uh, just close the you can use the uh, normal format of html you can put the doc type you can use the metadata you can add css file so all those things you can do it but this is just sample i want to show it okay let me save the file okay if i read the file it should be like this okay okay great so now the next one is i need to do a configuration file so let me go back to the folder con okay so there is no files in the configuration so now i have to create a configuration file okay so we have to create a file called light ttp t.conf so this will be the file so we need to give some basic details so i'm not going to give too much detail here so it's going to be some basic detail so let's go through that so first one is uh, for server dot document hyphen root and this is going to be into the default location where the your index files will be stored right so we have to get the path of that from your docker container so this is going to be slash var slash ww dot slash html so this will be the default location where we have to store the index files and the next one is the server dot port so we have to give which port we are going to access the server from the container so it's going to be 80 port 80 which i'm going to use and next one is uh, server dot index files and this is going to be our index files because we are going to access the web page using index.html, right? So it's going to be index.html. Okay, there is a files here, it's not file. Okay. And there is one more configuration which we need to add. So I'm just adding this uh, MIME type to assign, so it can be HTML text, HTML, HTML plain. So these are some default uh, types which you can give. So you can go through the brow web browsing, and if you know how to do you know, web development, you should be knowing what kind of uh, types we set for the web page, right? So I'm just giving some basic uh, content here. So that's all with this uh, configuration file. So let me save this. So if I go to this uh, light httpd conf, so this would be the how the file will look like. So we have both the HTML and also the configuration file available. So let me go back to the web folder. So we have these two folders, right? Now I want to create a Docker file. Okay. So let me create a Docker file. And we need to write the Docker file to create our container. So as always, the Docker file starts with from. Okay, so from and I'm going to use Alpine. So you can give some version if you want. You can give some tag. Uh, latest is the when I give Alpine, it takes the latest one. And I'm going to update the Alpine image. So I'm going to use run apk update. Okay, so first update. So you have to use apk because it's an Alpine image. And I'm going to upgrade as well so in case if there are some new updates you can you need to upgrade that okay so that the uh, first step now we can we need to install the light httpd because it's alpine does not have the uh, no, uh, light http to be running so we need to install that first so for that I'm going to use run apk it's going to be add so we're going to install the light http into that image so it's going to be light httpd okay so this will install uh, it on the alpine so we'll have that uh, web browser running then we can copy our content uh, to the respective locations so the next step is I want to copy the content, right? So the current contents are under my current folder and its configuration file are under conf, right? And I'm going to copy all. 
and I'm going to copy to slash etc slash light std. Okay, so uh, this will be the place where the config file will be stored in the container. And I also need to copy the HTML file, so it's going to be copy slash HTML. I'm going to copy all the content from there as well, and I'm going to put it to var slash slash HTML. Okay. So these are the files which you are going to copy. First, the configuration file which we created to this location, and the HTML file we created to this location. So the next step is we need to expose the port 80, okay, which we are going to use it from the internal to the from the container. And the final step is we need to run the server. So we need to use this command. So it's like uh, running the command line in in our system. So it's going to call the config file, and we are going to run the service light httpd. Okay. So that's all with this uh, Docker file. So let's uh, save this. So we have the Docker file as well. Okay. So now it's time for us to create the Docker image. So how to create the Docker image? So you have to use Docker build hyphen t and the name of the Docker image you want to give. So I'll give Alpine web. Okay. And uh, if you want to give some version, I'll give 1.0. And uh, where is the Docker file? It's in the current uh, directory. So I'm going to give a dot. So let's run this. So it's uh, building the content. So first it has to download the Alpine uh, image from Docker Hub. Okay, so let's wait for that. Okay. So you can see it successfully created uh, the Docker image. Yeah, but if you see, go through this instruction, right, first it has pulled the Docker image for Alpine, right? So it has using the Alpine latest. Then it has run the update, APK update and upgrade, right? So if there are something which has installed it, see it's, it is trying to install some files. Then it has uh, done the installation of uh, light httpd, right? And then we it has copied the content and then exposed the port and then it has uh, started the httpd. Right? Okay, so let's clear out the screen. So now if you go to Docker images, you will be able to see Alpine web, right? So this is the one which we created 1.0. If you see that this is the base Alpine image. Okay. Now let's create a Docker container. So you have to use Docker run, hyphen D, hyphen name. I'm going to call this Alpine web server. Okay, and then I'm going to expose the port 8081 in my host. Okay, and from the container it's going to be port 80 right and we have to call the alpine uh, image which is going to be alpine web and tag is 1.0 if you don't give the 1.0 it's go it's not going to work because uh, we have given the version as 1.0 so let's run this so if you go to docker ps we have a container running right now let's try to access this uh, in our web browser Okay, let me go to the browser and the IP address of uh, my web, my Docker machine is 130 and I'm going to use port 8081. Now if you see, we can see the content which we have put in the Alpine uh, image, right? We have created the HTML page and we have given the content as this is an Alpine image Docker container running from tips for you and the H2 in the body as this one. So I think it's, it's very simple uh, how you want to customize your Docker image. You need to write some uh, customized content in the Docker file. Then you build your own image. So you can make use of uh, some continuous integration. So whenever you make some changes of your uh, web page, it can automatically build your you know, Docker image. And uh, you know, it can publish a Docker container. So you can test how your website is working. So to summarize, we have seen how to create a Docker uh, Alpine uh, customized image to run your web server. So we have uh, created the uh, config file, http.conf, we have created HTML file. We have written our Docker file, build our Docker image, and also run the container. 
So I hope uh, this tutorial is informative for you and uh, thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel, like the video, share and comment.